Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another five box sapphire break. This is number 14, pick your team number 14. Five boxes of Topps Chrome Baseball Sapphire Edition. Big thanks to all these folks for getting into it. We got Robert with double last spot mojo this time, Pirates and Giants. So thanks to him and thanks to everybody for getting into this one. Dodgers up, or Dodgers down 3 2 in the top of the eighth and trying to get out. Dustin May trying to get out of the eighth inning. Let's see. All right. Um, let's go back to round.org. We have three rows remaining right here. One, two, three. So we'll generate a number right here. That was from before. And it's going to be one. So this top row right here. And those other two rows coming up right after uh, these, back to back. So we're going to do 15 and 16, and then Hockey Mixer, and then our night is done. Everything else that's sold out will break tomorrow. Uh, 2 o'clock Pacific, 5 o'clock Eastern, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I will most likely be sleepwalking through, <laughs> through the day. You guys have kept me busy all week, folks. Thank you. Um, EA saying, Honeycutt's doing well with the Dodger pitching staff. He is, actually. The big Dodger concern every year is... That's a nice hit. F word. Watch home. Um, sorry, the, Eric, the concern with Rick Honeycutt every season is, is he going to get poached? Like, is he going to be... There's seven managerial openings in Major League Baseball as of a few days ago. There could be more, you know? So the concern for the Dodgers has always been, well, is he going to be snagged and does he turn into a head coach somewhere, a manager somewhere? You know, a couple managers from the dot. Ward, who's the manager of the Rangers? I think uh, I really liked him. He he was a bench coach or a base coach for the Dodgers, and he went to um, he went to the Rangers, and I think he's doing a pretty decent job there. Dodgers hitting coach went to the Reds. To be a bench coach, I think. So I think he's looking to go up there. Where does Joe Madden go? Or does Rick Honeycutt go to the Cubbies? I don't know. We'll see. All right, there you go. So Dodgers only give up one run. All right, all right. It's still two runs. That's okay. Um, Joe Madden, well, a lot of LA papers here, EA, are, are thinking maybe Joe Madden... Angels. And then Joe Madden lures Garrett Cole to come to the Angels. So Joe Madden can manage, like, you know, can manage Mike Trout. There's Ray Black. Giants. And there's Ozzy Albias, future stars. Ray Black goes to the Giants. Robert, last spot mojo. And the Braves, EA with the Albies. Oh, you think Rex thinks David Ross will be the uh, new Cub. Oh, yeah, David Ross. That's probably what's going to happen. Is that Jalen Beeks red? It is. Two out of five Jalen Beeks. Michael Dubois with the Beeks. And the train whistle. There you go, Michael. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And who's going to... Yeah, Mike's asking who's going to take over... For Ned in Kansas City, yeah, there's a lot of openings. Mets have an opening too. Chase down your passion. Never. So you know the Mets are going to be looking for maybe a big name. I've been using this glove since I was a kid. Hey, Grandpa. Hey. It's a perfect fit. I wouldn't give it up for anything. Madden to the Pirates? Pirates will want Madden, says Rex. Gilo says Madden at the Pirates would be very... Oh, Madden at the Padres would be very interesting. 
$20 a month, and they've been an approved AARP provider for over 10 years, so members get exclusive discounts. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I, I, I don't know. The managerial, the managerial chases are so difficult to predict because you don't know who's going to be available. You don't know, you know, maybe there's, there's like a, a brilliant bench coach somewhere that people aren't even thinking about, you know, that could be elevated to that position. So, who knows? No, I, no, I'm thinking of current Rangers manager, Don. Wow, Max Scherzer in the eighth. Rex saying this is gonna be a big trade change off season, biggest ever. The last couple off seasons have been slow, so I hope so. <laughs> a little excitement would be nice. Rowdy Tellez for the Erickson Sala and the Blue Jays, Orange Auto. Scherzer in the eighth. Five out of twenty-five. Wait, so who's gonna pitch game three? They pitched Corbin yesterday. Strasburg went today. When they when they go here, there's Ryan McMahon. Seven out of twenty-five. Orange for the Rockies. John Alfie's with that. Cards. I, I don't know the details of the 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 print run. I'm afraid. Are there brilliant young coaches in baseball like they are in football? That's harder to say because I think not to diminish baseball managers, but. You know, baseball managers don't have to draw up like four inch binders of playbooks. You know, you know what I mean? Of plays. So, baseball managing feels to me more like just an intuitive knowledge of the game is important. The ability to, every team's using advanced analytics now heavily. So, how to manage that and, and then still use still use analytics and then still be able to uh, Chris Woodward Jake Reams that's right that's he was former Dodger bench coach and then be able to use analytics but then have the ball players be able to digest it and say then buy into it you know there's Hector Rondon 8 out of 25 right Chris Woodward was a was Dodgers bench coach for a little bit and you know, he got post, so I'm Rick Honeycutt could go at any time. Chris Shaw, Giants, another Giant for Robert. Last spot, Mojo, hitting twice. That's a cool card right there. Decon says, Danny, Danny saying, can someone teach the Mariners these advanced analytics? I feel like the Mariners front office are always making these like wily moves, you know, but it's just not, it just hasn't clicked. <laughs> you know, they've got some young talent. They're willing to spend money. They spent on like Nelson Cruz and Robinson Cano. So I don't think they're an organization afraid of spending money, but so something's just not clicking. Duvall had a homer today. Strike a pose, Braves. Purple. Yeah, football strategy can definitely change more year to year. There's, there's definitely baseball is is very slow to change. The season is long, you know. It, the season's long. The 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 time to get to the professional level is long. You know, a lot of repetition, thousands of ABs, you know, thousands of swings in the cage. 
It's a very repetition driven sport, which is why Analyx does lend well to it because everything averages out. But yeah, but but very different game planning in terms of like between baseball and football. Mike, your son does B BB analytics, college basketball or baseball? Right, I agree, Roy. The 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 brilliant minds are on the analytics side of things, yeah, and like. And like money management, salary cap management, you know, international money management, you know, finding value in drafts and whatnot. Ah, maybe it's maybe it's scouting because that's now super important. Look at all, look at the Dodgers, look at the Astros, you know, look at look at the young guys that Rory's team called up, you know. Yeah, a lot of value in those young guys. You don't have to pay a Bryce Harper, you know. I mean, you can if you want to, but. You don't have to. Oh, he does analytics for baseball. Yeah, so much analytics, Mike, going into 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 baseball. Analytics getting really heavy in in hoops too. I think that that's a lot. Another kind of long sport. A lot of sample sizes to get data points. The next big thing, if you're an analytics folks, sports analytics, or if you're a kid getting sports analytics, get into soccer sports analytics. Soccer hasn't got good analytics yet so the person who really gets that is going to I thought that was a red for a second wasn't it? Just... that's going to be the next big thing in global sports there's Tuki Toussaint for EA and the Braves exactly yeah analytics is what started that three point binge You know, they realized, hey, just step a few feet back. It's more efficient to get three back there and blah, 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 blah. And there you go. Austin Barnes for my Dodgers. Right, that was a good call by the Nationals then, getting Scherzer in there. 16 out of 25 for my Dodgers. Elvis Ekman with the boys in blue down two. They have to prevent runs in the top of the ninth and then score runs in the bottom of the ninth. Tears Taylor Ward for the Halos. Erickson Sala with the Angels. It's been broken and put back together. This is all you saw a tweet from MLB Trade Rumors about Padres going after Madden. That'd be smart. There's Daniel Palka, 21 and 20. They got a lot of young, a lot of young talent coming up the ranks. They got a, they got a superstar in Manny Machado, future star in Fernando Tatis Jr. Got to, got to get some pitching, starting pitching on that team, and a couple moves here, and that's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. A couple moves here and there, and next thing you know, Padres are chasing the Dodgers for the division. Alex Wood, Yasiel, and Cedric Mullins. There you go. That's the break, folks. That was uh, pick your team number 14. Let's give away some money. I think everyone knows how this drill works by now. It's alphabetized by your first names. Elvis with five. So only four count Elvis, two entries in the promo. EA, one entry. Erickson Sala with it. I almost skipped you. Why is Eric down here now? Oh, I think I accidentally... There we go. Control of Z, Control Z, Erickson Sala, John Alfie's had two. The X line with four. He has two. Laros has two. He gets an entry. So does Michael. So does Nick. So does Robert. All right. One spot in 11 this time. We'll have a shot at the break credit after... Six times. Name on top gets 50 bucks. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Robert, there you go, Robert. Congrats to you. $50 of break credit going your way. Check your email. If you don't see in the email, check your spam folder. It'll, it'll come as a gift card that you can apply to your next order on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.